Yeah, well, this police shooting death is sparking new legislation tonight. And now Stefan Clark's family is making a new push to pass Assembly Bill 392. The plan would limit when police can use deadly force. CBS 13's Angela Greenwood is getting answers on what these changes would mean for law enforcement. Angela? Yeah, this is a controversial bill. It's called the California Act to Save Lives, and supporters say that's exactly what the proposal would do. But opponents say that it would come at a big price to public safety. I'm planning to push for AB 392, something I want to... Um, Push for. After stalling in the Senate last year, AB 392 is back in the spotlight. The controversial new bill born after the police shooting death of Stefan Clark in Sacramento. His family and civil rights leaders pushing to get it passed. Even though it wouldn't help in our situation regarding my brother, to prevent this to happen to anybody else's son or grandson or cousin. But California law enforcement says the bill is dangerous for everyone. Sacramento Police Officers Association President Tim Davis. It would limit the officer's ability to defend the public. Here's what AB 392 would do. It would change the standard of using deadly force from reasonable to necessary and would require officers to use alternative methods first. Davis says it would basically criminalize officers for making split-second decisions. And if you go through this whole checklist that they've created, by then the officer or the citizen might already be dead. So we need to be able to respond quickly to these uses of force. Davis also says if the bill passes, every single law enforcement officer in the state would have to be retrained. He says there are better solutions out there. Not telling officers that if they make a mistake, then they're going to go to prison for the rest of their life. Still mourning a life lost. Those in support of AB 392 say landmark change must be made. We need to acknowledge these systematic issues and support legislation and training that brings about reform. Those alternative solutions, Davis says law enforcement is pushing for a separate bill, SB 230. Now, that would not limit use of deadly force, but it would change policies to require additional training on how to de-escalate de situations and to deal with mental health issues, and also just to communicate better with the public, which he hopes will limit situations where deadly force is used to begin with. Well, we've seen new legislation come out of this case, so we'll see what happens with this bill. Thanks so much, Angela.